Hello, thank you, Mr. Heinz Lux, for your uh, insightful presentation. I am Jesus Arias. Uh, I represent uh, Kenex Association. I assist members, startups, and I take care of business development for Kenex Association. I am very happy to be here today in this live event, taking care of the core of IoT technology in the world. We are at ISE plus IoT Solutions World Congress 2023, and we are witnessing how KNX is expanding uh, with its IoT technology in the industry of smart homes and buildings. I would like to share a new presentation with you today. I hope you enjoy it. Let me start with some food for thought. Uh, this is direct feedback from this exhibition. The KNX IoT specifications have expanded the business cases found in the development landscape. This is not just a sentence, this is a reality. This picture that you can see here, it is our panel, the, the panel of the uh, main booth of the Kenex Association at ISC Hall 2 L400. This is the biggest development landscape in smart homes and buildings. This uh, new landscape or expanded landscape is enabling new business cases for KNX members and thanks to the new KNX IoT specifications. The right part of the panel, which is framed with that green line, showcases the new devices, uh, components that we can find in the KNX IoT landscape. We will go through them uh, in a bit. Furthermore, they enabled a new way of integration between the installation and the service based on native data that is in the KNX installation. This uh, other uh, picture, the slide that you can see, is at the KNX Association booth. You probably have heard of uh, ChatGPT, right? Uh, if you haven't heard of it, it's because you live in a cave. This is already an enabled service in the KNX uh, installations, thanks to the KNX IoT technology. For example, uh, in this particular case, the Aragon uh, speaker uh, that connects to the Schneider uh, uh, Wiser for KNX uh, API server, it has the service of ChatGPT. So already uh, installations with KNX can enjoy this technology. This is an example of a service enabled in KNX installations thanks to the KNX IoT technologies. It is a, it is a fact that uh, we, we can witness a, a change in the paradigm, a shifting uh, a tendency of uh, uh, hardware and software. Uh, for example, I was yesterday in this presentation, uh, site and the Volvo Group Digital and IT uh, how the shift to as a service business model results in new revenue streams. This is, uh, this is happening in our industry and thanks to the KNX IoT specifications and the members that are now following uh, the new specifications with new developments, the KNX IoT API server and the KNX IoT point API devices, uh, our uh, members can develop solutions that are uh, leading the changes in the industry. Let me give you some examples. How does this uh, landscape look like? Well, we all very well know uh, where KNX comes from. And uh, you can see in this slide, something that people in the KNX industry knows well. Twisted pair devices, RF devices, with, uh, uh, for instance, IP backbones, thanks to the KNX net IP technology. So this is already very well established and is a foundation of the success of the KNX technology. It goes without saying that uh, there is something key here, which is interoperability and our vendor independent tool, ETS. 
that same independent, uh, that same interoperability and vendor independent tool uh, are the cornerstone for the growth of the KNX development landscape with KNX IoT. KNX over IP uh, is already out there. It works very well, and we have already many solutions using, uh, for instance, KNX NetIP protocol. It is true that some companies on the software spectrum uh, prefer other ways of approaching uh, KNX installations. Uh, so KNX NetIP protocol is not the best uh, or preferred option in order to create applications to work with the KNX uh, installations. Hence, the need of, a, let's say, a new approach like the KNX IoT uh, API server. We have uh, ETS apps which run embedded on this vendor independent tool, the ETS software. So they are also very well established and enable uh, different uh, approaches to offer, uh, for instance, uh, additional applications or ways of uh, interacting with the ETS software. And KNX IP, thanks or based on the IoT specifications. We've been talking about this uh, technologies already uh, uh, for a few months, uh, but this is now realized in real devices as you could witness with that uh, panel from uh, KNX at ISE. In a nutshell, we have uh, KNX, uh, KNX API, IoT API servers. They collect all the data from the installation uh, natively thanks to the ETS and they offer it through an API. Then we have the API clients. They are using these API servers to connect to the KNX installation. This morning we had a workshop uh, where several companies were already learning how to develop these uh, applications. Uh, these companies have no knowledge in KNX. Uh, they just have applications for smart homes and buildings. And now thanks to this new approach, they can uh, uh, connect to the installations, enjoy the stream of data, the connectivity, the interoperability with an abstraction layer from the specific knowledge from KNX. On the other hand, uh, we have uh, KNX IoT point API devices. Thanks to our open source stack, which is freely available for anyone. Uh, I'll share the details with you at the end. And already existing modules for uh, KNX using this open source stack, we can see how KNX can use new physical layers, a different approach over IP than the existing one. All in all, uh, this is the resulting uh, landscape. Here is a, is a, uh, is a infographic, but this is already a reality. So all in all, we have the biggest development landscape in the smart homes and buildings industry. It is very nice to enjoy the visit of so many companies uh, at this event who want to know about KNX. And it's a very nice pleasure to show them all the different options the options are there. Every company will uh, choose a different angle or approach, but interoperability remains at the core and the ETS software remains at the core of our philosophy. So why do we say from, de from device to service? KNX Association enables this development landscape with the KNX specifications but also with the tooling, which is very important for development and testing of the manufacturer tool and the EITT also being updated uh, for the new uh, specifications, KNX IoT. On the other hand, the uh, KNX, uh, the ETS with the capability of exporting the data natively uh, for API servers and as well to uh, being able of configuring KNX IoT point API devices. Uh, yesterday or two days ago, 
uh, we sent uh, an email to our members sharing the alpha version of this ETS uh, uh, 6 version, which sh uh, soon will join the, the mainstream of the ETS releases for everyone to uh, realize these installations. Our KNX members also enable this uh, ecosystem. Uh, the KNX Association uh, is, uh, uh, doesn't produce any hardware. Uh, our members use the specifications or the open source stack to create components, modules that are utilized to develop and manufacture KNX devices and solutions. So there's a, a comprehensive list of what members are offering uh, these components for the manufacturers and developers to fast track their developments. Uh, we also have OEM equipment for uh, those who prefer a, a fast track to the, to the market. So thanks to this ecosystem, to this tooling, to this existing uh, uh, market of components uh, and uh, KNX stacks, uh, any company can find the right approach for development. One example, companies that develop applications, they can, for instance, uh, offer uh, their, uh, their application for KNX installations via API servers. We also have companies that develop hardware, like in this example, can be a thermostat. So uh, using twisted wear or radio frequency or KNX IoT point API, uh, these companies can from one device already connect to the whole KNX installation thanks to the interoperability and the ETS software. So the ecosystem enables that companies that are starting uh, with one device, they can already go to market. Or you can create the whole vertical from hardware uh, to application, even to service, uh, using the whole uh, KNX development ecosystem. This is one example of our startup, Solarigy. They have a, a twisted pair controller for uh, shutters that produce electricity. And with uh, the API server, they uh, gather the data from the application, from the actual uh, shutter. They can monitor the energy consumption, uh, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So the development ecosystem is like a puzzle and uh, every company can find the right components to uh, create their solution. About our KNX development platform, uh, our members have access to all the specifications, development guidance, resources, tools, procedures, even assistance to find the right development approach. And two important novelties, uh, our KNX IoT open source stack is there for our members to explore, to investigate, to uh, develop KNX IoT point API devices. And our KNX IoT API server, we also have a uh, specific development resources with proof of concepts, with client applications. We are also running workshops uh, to, uh, uh, for the members to understand how to develop applications. So these two uh, branches of KNX IoT are ready for our members to develop products, solutions, and services. So I would like to thank you very much uh, I would like to uh, say thank you to everyone making this event possible. We have now uh, a few demos about KNX IoT, API server and point API devices. And then we'll continue on the uh, auditorium also live the whole day with uh, uh, very quick speeches from uh, startups, uh, uh, IoT uh, uh, components uh, providers, and a few surprises as well. So going back to uh, IoT core in the world, Jesus Arias, thank you very much.